sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man. Chris Brown dropped a 32-track CD. Don't ask you what the name of it is. I ain't listened to a Chris Brown album in my life, but I like I like um, um I like some of his music. But he faces some backlash from black women. Let's talk about it. Multiple um, <laughs> multiple things have been said about Chris Brown. But make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Appreciate everybody for reaching out um, on all our social media platforms. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Use that promo code, GoodFellow1 Box, to get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. All right. But um, basically, okay, we can start off with the dark. Uh, he said he don't even want to mess with black skin bitches with the good hair. At the end of the day, uh, for Chris Brown to say that, you know what I'm saying, about black women, black women have supported Chris Brown more than they have supported in, in this generation any other black person. Uh, black black male, you know, Chris Brown is, you know, he's put his hands allegedly on Rihanna. I use allegedly um, just for legal purposes. He put his hands on her. You know, he didn't done some crazy shit before and, you know, and all that other stuff and all the stuff he done when he was lashing out on Good Morning, Good Morning America. And he was going through his, his child, black women, dark, white, I mean, dark, light skin. Whatever mix Brown, whatever it may be, they defended Chris Brown like Kawhi Leonard was defending motherfucking, uh, like he was defending the Golden State Warriors, okay? They defended him like Deion Sanders was defending uh, Jerry Rice and Michael Irvin. You know what I'm saying? They defended Chris Brown, you know, like no other. And for him to come out here and say, I don't even want to mess with the dark skin, uh, the black women, with the black bitches with the good hair. Like, are you serious, dude? Do you not understand like over like 70, 80 percent of your fan base are women and just to, to 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 degrade black women by calling them bitches in your song? Like At the end of the day, I know Drake said, I hate calling the women bitches, but the bitches love it. OK, at the end of the day, all shots are off when you say I want to mess with the black bitches with the good hair. <laughs> like, like at the end of the day, but a lot of women going to act like they appalled by it. But hey, man. At the end of the day, if they not a part by, keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Every time somebody else come out there and say something about this, this feminist group, these feminists out here, maybe black, white, Indonesian, Asian, yellow people, don't matter, Caucasian, they always want to bond together and say we discriminating versus versus women or we discriminating versus gays. But it's never no discrimination when it comes to black people. You know, we ain't never discriminated against. We always told to suck it up and take it to the crib. You know what I'm saying? So for the feminists out there that 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 defended Chris Brown or that's gonna turn the blind eye to this about Chris Brown, I ain't trying to hear y'all voice about nothing else coming up here coming up. Whatever they brought, they arguing about. Oh, you know, no man has all three, or no man does this, and men should pay all the bills, and they should concede to us. We should rule all that, all that bull crap, all that beta male stuff. Women want a beta male. These some of these feminist women want beta male. You know what I'm saying? They want a lame. They want a simp. You know what I'm saying? They they want to run their household and tell a man what to do. They want a man to go bring all the bacon like it's 1950. They don't want to. They get mad when you tell them they should cook and clean. Oh, what you think? This is 1950. These ain't your grandma's or your grandmother's mother's uh, era. You know what I'm saying? But they want they want your black ass or they want your your white ass or they want your Asian or Arabic ass to go out there and bust your ass and pay all the bills. And, and get unhealthy, working 10 to 15 hours a day while they sit there, spend all your money, spend their money. They want you to do all that shit, then die early and live off the uh, money that you stacked up. Boy, come on, man. We didn't got smarter since then, women. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no selective, uh, it ain't no selective backlash. Ain't none. Either y'all gonna backlash against uh, guys that say stuff about y'all or y'all not. And Chris Brown has been one of the, the, the very few that's been able to that's been able to get away with stuff like that. Now, another situation that actually really made me do the video was a uh, was one, uh, somebody somebody on Instagram. I'll link the article in the description. But somebody on Instagram was like uh was basically saying that Chris Brown, some girl said Chris Brown had dark skinned women banned from his section, from his VIP table. 
And remember they said that Future said he wanted all fat chicks banned from the club while he was there. Now, Future came out and said that BS wasn't true. Now, this is all alleged, okay? The lyrics was for real, you know what I'm saying? I was wondering why people was going up my timeline today because I'm a little bit late today saying that, you know, I only want to mess with the back, black bees with the good hair. I didn't get that until I, I, got, I, 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 check, I checked into an article on it. But, you know, at the end of the day, if that's, just prerogative, that's just prerogative, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if it's a feminist group, or at least let's talk about the black feminists, y'all should buy, behind together against Chris Brown, against anybody. Y'all should go to bat for the light-skinned girls like y'all go to bat for the brown skin, or go to bat for the dark-skinned girls, too. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I heard the CD was 32 tracks of trash. I don't know how there was only four good songs. You know? And maybe he needed this, this backlash, or maybe he needed he needed some controversy for people to, to stream his songs, because they don't buy albums no more. Maybe, maybe he needed this controversy. You know what I'm saying? And if he needed the controversy, so be it. But I'm tired. I'm tired of of, of 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 black people having to be the butt of all black people jokes. We can't even get over ourselves. Like he really could have did without that lyrics. But once you piece it together, okay, he said the lyrics about the dark, the black skinned chicks with the good hair. I don't even want to mess with them. Now it's coming out saying you got dark skinned chicks banned from your section. Then you had the whole thing with Tory Lanez, uh, faking like he pulling the light skin and putting the dark skinned girl back in his videos too. Like, come on, man. At the end of the day, these these dudes get in a high position, and okay, if it's your preference, only the light white light skinned women. Only I don't care what your preference is. Don't really care. Whoever you choose to fall in love with is who you choose to fall in love with, or who you choose to mess with. We cool. I'm cool with what you want. Cause I, I never meet Chris Brown in my life. I never kick it with him. Nothing. I ain't tripping, but at the end of the day, if, if, if you truly ban, this could be an all a joke or all the facade. I don't know if he came back and said, no, it ain't true, or he ain't going to entertain it, or, or somebody else going to jump on and say it is true. So be it. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't got to openly sit there and degrade women. But I'm still waiting on that feminist group and all these females on YouTube, and I won't say no no names. I'm waiting on them to do their live stream, and maybe I ain't been down my... I ain't been down my uh, I ain't been down my time, my timeline good enough, but I seen a few women on social media that I was disgusted with the lyrics that he said. Now I don't know about the whole table thing, but but going hand to hand is what it is, man. Chances is me, chances of one of you women out there or me and you ever, you know, to establish a real relationship with a a friendly relationship or 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 one of y'all chicks get the dating homeboy. Man, come on, man. What's the chances of you really kicking it with Chris Brown? You know, what's the chance you in the airport and you see Chris Brown, y'all going to have a real conversation? You know? So, at the end of the day, I don't care what the, what he do. That's his prerogative. If he won't ban dark-skinned chicks from his table at the, at the VIP, in the VIP, cool. That's something that he got to live with. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, he need to come out and address that if he hasn't already come out and address that. But, like I said, I ain't a huge fan of his, uh, his albums and stuff like that. But I heard it was trash. But if he is banning dark skinned women, so be it. It's more for us regular average Joe working dudes. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is, I mean, why y'all feminists can't keep the same energy? Now, had had one of us came out there and dropped in somebody comment checks one of the, the female YouTube channels and or dropped a super chat and say, I only uh, my preference is only a, a light skinned women. I mean, y'all would have y'all would have y'all would have fried us alive. See, this is the typical male. They so quick to beat up on the average Joe. You know, they so quick to jump on us when we got preference. But Chris Brown, he get a pass. He get a pass for putting his hand on women or, or whatever the situation may be. He get a pass. Sorry, Miles around here playing with his toy. He, he get a pass. We don't get no pass. And I know I ain't got a million, 100 million, 300 million, whatever he got. I don't own a chain of McDonald's or Burger King, whatever you got. Well, all I'm saying, keep the same energy. Because y'all quick to bash us. You know, oh, I got that white girl, you know. Why he only got light-skinned women, uh, uh, you know, that he don't need that. Like, that's my prerogative. Same way, keep that same energy y'all got for Chris Brown with everybody else. Keep the same energy. Keep that backlash. Don't, don't, don't have no exceptions. Oh, we love Chris Brown and, you know. 
Anybody else put their hands on a woman? Oh, man, they career over with. Chris Brown, he got passed. Y'all bagged him. Oh, y'all jumped on Rihanna. Oh, what if Rihanna ate the last pack of Rumi Nuba? I ain't trying to hear that, man. Y'all know what it is. Good for us for CB. D-Ray said that Rumi Nuba joke. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry, response, ship, video quests. Continue to share the videos. Appreciate the love and support, man. And uh, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code good for the one boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, 